Hey, what's up? It's Zach King with FinalCutKing.com, and I've got a Motion 4 tutorial for you. I'm going to show you this effect right here. It's just an animation of directions for a map. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this in motion. This video is brought to you by RealClever.com. You can check out their cool website for project management and promotional tools for filmmakers. So check out RealClever.com. Okay, so in this video, you saw the little animation here. I'll play it again. Okay, so basically for each turn, it's going to have a text element that pops up. I got this map off Google Maps, took a little snapshot of it using a Mac software called Grab. I have a couple different selection softwares, but this is a quick one. Type in Grab and you can use it. And then you can go ahead and go to Capture Selection or Window. So anyway, back to Motion 4. I'm going to show you just the animation, but I also have this triangle here. And this is a gradient that I made go to the Bezier tool and we're gonna start at Florence Avenue and so whatever your map is just make a line we're gonna go ahead and just add some lines here staying on the road wherever there's a turn just add a point we're gonna get off at Rosecrans Avenue we'll come down here take a left on La Mirada Boulevard and then hang another left into Biola University so there's the map I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the HUD here and you're gonna see it's on fill right now but if I turn on outline you see what happens it's a very thin line but if I make it big you can see it let's go ahead and turn on a different color let's go with a red right click on this if you need to add any more points you can go ahead and right click and add a point I'm going to go back to my arrow, and then I'm going to narrow down this width a little bit, a little too big here. And I'm also going to turn down the opacity just a hair. Now I'm also going to drop a, add a drop shadow. I'm also going to darken up this red color. Okay, so I'm going to save that red down there in the well. So go ahead and put your playhead in the beginning. And we're going to go ahead and select the animation. Command 4 opens up the Layers tab and we're going to go to the inspector and we're going to begin our animation. It's very simple. You just drag your last point offset. You can see that's the animation right there. Pull it off, go to the beginning, hit record. I'm going to go in about 76 frames or so. Go ahead and animate that guy on by turning back on 100% to the last point. And that's a pretty good speed right there. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that. We're going to close down this window. We're going to add some text. So for La Habra, going on the 5, we're going to hit back it up to 11 frames, and that's about where I turn on the 5. And so I'm going to say 5 South. Turn on the HUD again. Let's turn the color back to this color. I'm going to unbold this. I'm going to keep it on. No, I'm going to keep it bold. I'm going to keep it on bold. Go ahead, go to style. We're gonna go to drop shadow. Turn on the blur and turn down the opacity. And so we can also add another behavior. I'm gonna go to text basic and then go ahead and go to rotate in. I'm gonna add that. Pull this down way down. Okay, so when we hit Rosecrans and get off the five, I'm gonna go ahead, copy this, command C paste it and we're going to drag it down right here underneath let it play out we're going to change it here so Rosecrans Avenue and then we're going to also hang left on La Mirada so copy and paste once again and then final destination Biola okay so let's go ahead and play this animation and see how it's looking okay Biola was a little late I'm gonna select it and we're gonna pull it back a little bit see that the timing is good Okay. And I like that timing right there. So now I'm done and I can bring it into Final Cut.
by going to file and then export and then I can select my settings. So there's a motion for animation for doing a map. I hope that helps you in a future video. Once again, check out the sponsor of this video, realclever.com for some project management and promotional tools for filmmakers. They have a really cool website. They have a great website for keeping your projects organized and it's a great resource for any filmmaker. So check out realclever.com. I'm Zach King with FinalCutKing.com. You can check out my website. I'll see you in the next video tutorial.